saw down the tree. That is slightly faster. You're correct about the entire thing that it's faster. Yeah, way faster. Probably also uses a bit more durability, so that would be kind of sad, but hey. Eh. If it needs to happen, it needs to happen. Now, the only way I can get rid of this is by chopping it up. Now, I'm going to have to go a little bit before I can reach trees. I keep on wanting to press E for inventory. I'm playing too many other games. Nah, let's go to up over here. Plant some trees. Actually, looks pretty cool. Now, let's go chop down many trees and start building. Well, actually, what I need to do is craft myself a... Let's see here, where is it? Ooh. Signboard. Bow drill. Now, what I want is a shovel. Shovel, wooden shovel, or iron shovel. Wooden shovel will do. Inventory, let's look at the wooden shovel and uh, set the axe. So then I can actually start like leveling this out a little bit. Not exactly what I was planning, but sure. Okay, now it's I, I need actual metal tools for now. It's kind of interesting the way it levels. Hold that up button to flatten. Okay, so I need to point high, I suppose. Hold on. Flatten. Need to do some terraforming. Now, terraforming is quite a interesting business. I've terraformed on many occasions. Never to this extent, though. Usually small terraforming jobs. I say terraforming, but yeah. It's just flattening. Okay, let's get rid of this bush here. So who needs a bush? Yeah, it gives me that. Old horseshoe. Not gonna complain about an old horseshoe. You know what I could just do? Instead of flattening out this entire area, I could build it in a really interesting way, but. Ah, for now, this, this will have to do. I guess it's gonna need a nice flat area for later. Might as well just flatten it now. Or what I'll do is I'll flatten up a piece, build a small structure just so I can start storing things and stuff, and then I'll. Uh, well, this should, this this should hopefully be enough for like a decent structure. But now I know how to flatten properly. And I can use it to fill up hobbles as well. Which is going to be nice. So that's going to mean that I don't need to worry about having uneven dirt. Yeah. It's actually going quite quickly. I'm probably going to break the shovel quite quickly with this. Because this is a lot of uh, shoveling I'm doing. Yeah, I hit stone. It's not a problem. I think I need an iron pick in order to shovel stone. Or I just need to go up and uh, actually lower the entire terrain up here. 
You can you can dig quite quite deep, but there's a certain limit to how deep. So I can dig around here, even though I just went and uh, to went to the next level. But now, in order to go a bit higher, I'm going to need to start a little bit higher. Which is quite an interesting system. I quite like it. It actually makes sense, unlike in other games where flattening needs to either be done by hand or in really weird mechanic ways. Mechanics. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's flatten this area. And one thing I hate about colony, uh, colony running games, it's one thing I thought I might talk about while I'm playing this, and uh, doing not knowing what to talk about. Colony, uh, colony running games. One thing I always always freak me out about it is why are your people so stupid? Literally, we can think for ourselves, but it's like they can't even do that sometimes. Other times they're really smart. Do things in the correct order. When you're like happy. I guess come on, flatten. I'm gonna just quickly just get rid of all that. There we go. Come on. Flatten. Yeah. Gonna have to flatten it from over here. So you have to do it sort of in sections, which Makes it quite nice. You have to flatten it from the top to the bottom. Which makes a lot of sense. So I might just build myself an open like workshoppy thing. For now. There's a place to store things and to start you know, working on things. You are getting pickaxed. You don't want to disappear. Come on. Just aim properly. Kind of quite hard to aim sometimes when you're third person. Because it is aiming, even in the first person, it's not aiming directly where the pointer is, which is in the center of the screen. It's sort of aiming off center. Makes sense, you can't really swing on the exact same spot over and over and over again. But still, it's kinda, kinda weird. I wanted to have a bit of a structure up before it turned to night, but that's not gonna happen. It was a bit slow. Slow on the digging. Now I'm starting to level this area out. <laughs> Leveling is quite quite a lot of hard work. I must admit, it's quite hard work. If I had to do this in real life, I don't think it would be this easy. Oh, oh. Yeah, I was wondering when that was gonna happen. And now I officially know. Okay, let's make a shovel. Just I don't even care. I'll just I'll just make a new one. Oh, I don't want inventory. I already made one. I wonder if you can actually set up like quick craft slots. That might be an interesting thing to know. Now that I do not understand. How did I get that to happen? Because that should not have happened. So I'm flattening. I'm flattening. And uh, earlier I couldn't even dig mildly high. Oh, it's getting dark. I wonder if I can, if I have the resource to make a uh, bed. Not too sure. Crafting. 
Let's see here. Sleeping bag. I might be able to make a straw sleeping bag if I'm lucky. But it would not appear so, no. Unless I'm blind, because uh, that is also a thing a vase. I can make crossbows, I can make pitchforks. But I really want pitchforks. Uh, pitchforks seem kinda kinda scary, kinda dangerous. Might hurt myself, you never know. Okay, no, it would not appear that I can make one of those, but I can make one of these and then craft a campfire. Go for. Yeah, sure. Okay, now inventory, grab the flint and flint stuffies. Flint and flint. There we go, that's a bit better. I did eat up quite a few of my logs, and in fact I ate up eight of my logs, but that's a proper fire. If I do say so myself. I might actually be able to run all the way to over here with that. Granted it's getting dark, but I'm going to chop down the tree in the correct direction. You guys should be able to see it. At least I'm emitting some sort of weird light on my own. Shut down a couple of trees. Granted, it is going to take a lot in order to build a little bit of a house. Oh, and it landed inside the rock. Of course it did. How exact? Oh, it landed in a tree. Okay, cool. Now, what I want to quickly do is actually craft a torch. Can I craft a torch? Torch, torch, torch. Yes, I can. So then, I can equip said torch. Oh shit, I am hungry. I forgot about being hungry. Uh, pineapples. Pineapples are really good for hunger. I'm still hungry. Wild melons. Okay, I'm no longer hungry. Now I have a torch, which is going to reduce a very small amount of light, but still a bit of light. Just to help me, or or I could like not hold it while picking things up. It at least helps me to see slight bit better. Could really use a mining helmet, but of course I. It's just like in game, a late game. Let's see here. Any other logs that I missed? Mainly what I'm interested in is logs. Now where is the logs? All the logs need to be mine. Okay, let's go for did I chuck the no I did not chuck the pristine stone axe. So that would have been bad if I chucked that axe. Snapdragon don't really want to pick up it when it's young, but <laughs> crafting. Okay, now how would I go about constructing a place to be a uh, place to stay? Massive log. Is this construction or is this just a pine block? I actually make pine blocks. Can I make planks? I can make planks. 
We make a total of 22, like 110 planks. I might actually look a lot better if I make a four of like these. Okay, my inventory is full. That's kind of sad. Purple orchid. See, tree seeds I can definitely use. Now, if I quickly drop this old horseshoe. How big are these? Not really that big. I truth I was expecting them to be a little bit smaller or a little bit a little bit bigger or thinner rather. I was not expecting them to be like this. But in any case it could just it could work better than using logs. So in any case it's going to work better than using logs. Wooden beam. Okay, wooden beam is gonna take one log. Let's craft one of these and see how it looks. Then I will ever know. This might have been a bit more of an efficient way of doing it, but I'm not certain. I'm certain. What the hell is wrong with my mouth right now? I cannot speak. Thanks. Planks, planks, planks. A lot of planks, and then I'm gonna make make these rather. Because these, if I know, if I predicted it correctly, inventory, are just singular blocks. That's a bit easier to build a wall out of. Actually, what I wanted to do was not build a wall. Wait, I can, I can, I can use right click to pick them up. I wonder if I can break those others up. Crafting, can I break it up? Oh, I can make a flower pot, that's one thing I can do. Now, let's see here, can I break it up? No, it would not appear like I can break it up into smaller pieces. Because I want a wooden floor. Let's start by placing a floor here. Probably you get find a use for the others, but right now it's just a wooden floor. It's actually gonna take a while. One can actually place things underneath. There's actually quite a gap there. That is disturbing. Why is there not much of a gap? Could perhaps if if it will allow it to sink this down a bit, yes. Thereby growing it using these. It's actually gonna look quite nice. Is the sun rising? No. I was hoping our sun was rising. It's probably part two already episode 2 already because I am going to record this in all, all in one like swoop okay kill them or this one requires clay this one requires clay so both of them requires clay smelting furnace kill them. let's go for a smelting furnace let's place it like right on here I just make sure that I am placing it. But you could like freeze it in this place. Yeah, let's 
place it like that. Yes, I should be able to build a wall around that. Good. How big is, if I remember correctly, the kiln was, yeah, it's quite a lot bigger. Now, I'll build the kiln later.